like most average fishermen out there, we probably spend a decent amount of time scrolling and looking at tackle online and finding excuses to buy stuff that we probably don't need. So I found this Daiwa Air DX spinning rod right here. So I found the excuse of buying this thing to use it with my son to fish for a bass and trout and that type of thing. So I am going to buy a pair of these. So I need two piece rods. So I'm going to buy a seven foot rod. So it is the 702 MFS. So like a week and a half later, these two rods show up to my house. Immediately out of the box, I can see this beautiful bronze finish peering out at me like this. Wow. I think a lot brighter, sweet. a lot more vivid than I could see in the pictures online. So I'm pretty happy with it so far for $54. So these bronze graphics extend from the butt of the rod up to the first guide. Looks very nice. As far as grip and reel seat style and arrangement, so you have an abbreviated setup, which means part of the blank is exposed between the foam grips. So these are EVA foam grips. So you have a small piece in the back with a trim band and then a small piece behind the reel seat. There is a hook keeper at the rear of the rub at the exposed area. Never used this before. I'm curious how I like it. You have a basic graphite reel seat on here. It looks pretty nice. A nice shiny gloss black to make that gold pop on the rod. The winding checks are placed nice and evenly and flush with the reel seat. The thread finish is applied really nicely. I don't see any exposed threads and it's also placed at the foot end of the guides really well. So this thing comes with aluminum oxide guides on there with what look like ceramic rings. Should be pretty durable. There is an Atlas style tip top on here, which should be pretty sturdy. So here are my pair of Daiwa Air DX rods. They're seven feet, paired up with 3000 size reels. So these are the Daiwa M-Cast. For $54 for this Daiwa Air DX, I think it's a pretty good bargain considering the quality of the rod. I didn't see really any flaws on it, and I'm not going to be too harsh on it because, again, it's a pretty cheap rod. But if you were already looking at this thing or eyeing it or just thinking about buying it, I would say go ahead and do it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.